Right then. Here we have it. I've been waiting for this since April. The Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Canyon Blue livery by NG Models. Let's get into this. So, now many of you know, in, I believe, August, another version of this was released. This is the one with split scimitars, if you look at the box close enough. It will focus. You can kind of tell. Now, I'm recording this in the evening sort of area, so... The lighting is not gonna look as good. As other times. Okay, just refocus. Yeah, so just. It's one of those NG boxes that you expect. It looks a lot better than, say, Gemini Jets. Instead of just being like all blue or a single color, actually has some nice kind of details. Has sort of the Canyon Blue tail on it, Southwest, and then Southwest.com up there. Nice box art. One to four hundred edge scale collectible models. Diecast metal. On that gun. Digital picture of the model. Southwest title. Another digital picture, and that's all. That's it. Back of the box looks the same as the other, but you can actually see the southwest.com text here. And then all the um, licensing with Boeing and such. Ages 14 and up. But who cares if you're like 12 and you're buying this. Anyways, let's open this box. There she is. Sealed away in the block of ice. Frozen away, never to be seen. Well, until today. Got a nice little plastic thingy to play with, I guess. Let's take her out. There she is. Let's set her down off to one side. I just love how she just she just sinks straight into the carpet. I just like it. Anyways, put the block of ice back inside. She is. Let's zoom in on her. Now, sadly, the lighting is not very good here. So, this blue appears much richer or darker than it actually is in real life, or so. I honestly can't tell. So. Should I try taking the camera off of the tripod, or...? Eh, no. I think this is okay. So, you got the cockpit window, L1 door, extreme grain is a thing here. You got multiple windows, which you honestly can't really see that well on video. Well, you can, but I can't because there's like a line in the way on the camera screen. So I'm fine and dandy and all. You got your wings. Hit the black details. I think this is like, um... I forgot what this is called. It's like... The sentry box or whatever it was? I don't know. You got the slide ramp detail. It goes facing off of the flaps, so... Hopefully, if you're in a 737... Your captain lowers the flaps, and then the crashed plane crashes. That just made no sense. You slide down the flaps. I've watched the um, Canadian Airlines 
737 flight attendant training video. They show the people sliding down the flaps. Don't, don't, don't be stupid and have one IQ like me and just jump off of the front edge. Yeah, you got your emergency access there too. Wi-Fi dome seems to be attached rather well. I'll lift her up closer to the camera for this shot so you can actually see better. Actually, I'll just move the box out of the way so... Well, let's focus more on the cockpit or what... There we go. We have her registration. As you can see, there we go. November 8627 Bravo. Yeah, that's correct. Got the L2 door. American flag above it and... Some more detail which I can't see. The beautiful canyon blue tail with the Southwest titles. Then we had the split scimitars. Nice. The red flap tracks. Underside of the model looking nice and dandy. You got the aerials on the underside. Looking good. The wheel hubcaps looking good on the landing gear, which does roll. Nose gear also rolls. Looking fine and dandy. Flipper around to the other side. And there we go. There's a reason why I prefer the Canyon Blue livery over um, the new Heart One paint scheme. I remember back when I was in elementary school, I had a friend who I'm not in contact with anymore, sadly. He was also into aviation and he liked Southwest a lot. And so I remember seeing the Canyon Blue 737 a lot. Now for the airport I'm modeling, which I'm gonna use this at, we get more of the 700 version, normally without split scimitars, just the blended winglets, but, you know, it's not really much you can do. I also decided to, let's see if we can take a look on what's on the inside of the winglet, if I can even zoom in. There we go. Can we get her to focus? Are we focusing too much on the action? Let's move the box out of the way. Southwest.com. Looking good. Doesn't look like it's bent too much outward or anything. Now, of course, everyone knows that the engine mold is not really the best it needs to be a little bit sharper and also there's supposed to be like a curved line on the engine well it's not really as well represented here but it looks to be straight on this model so not supposed to be straight the iconic hamster pouch designed engines so yeah So that will wrap it up for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. So be sure to place a like on the video if you liked it. If you didn't, well then, press the dislike button twice, please. That'd be helpful. And yeah, if you really want to, subscribe. I have more aviation content on the way, so more of that should be coming soon. So. 
I guess I will see you guys later. Goodbye.